Within DDS, the user can save details of their projects, and it is from this platform that a new project is launched. Below the Project Status tabs, the user will also see the inclusion of additional tools which support the design of soakaways, harvesting tanks, and storage tanks. The user is now in a position to launch a new project from DDS. Once launched, the user will be prompted to include and save the project details. Included in the saved details will be the status of the project, draft or final, and the due date, which can then be selected from the embedded calendar. The visibility of the project can be public or private, the difference being that public status projects can be shared out to other Stormscape users. Once completed, all the relevant project details can then be saved. In order to use a working drawing within the Stormscape design section, the user needs to first upload the relevant data. On selecting the Upload Data option, the user will be presented with an Upload File box. This option allows you to upload a background DXF drawing. To append additional notes if required, and to select the units of the drawing, either in meters or millimeters. Once saved, the uploaded drawing will be displayed under the External Files heading and is now ready to be used in the main design application. The next step is for the user to progress the new design by selecting, in this case, the new stormwater design button. Having selected a new drainage design, the user will now be able to work within the main design window. The first option is to open the working DXF drawing previously uploaded for use within the main design. The drawing is imported as a background from the drawing tab located in the top left corner of the design window. Once selected, the drawing will appear within the Drawing Portal window and is now ready for use in relation to the system design. The background drawing can then be resized to a convenient view. In this case, a stormwater design to serve a small industrial estate has been chosen as a representative example. The next step is for the user to obtain the necessary rainfall data and this can be done quickly and easily from the UK map located in the lower third of the design window. By clicking on the map, the user can select any location in the UK, including full coverage of Ireland. And once a suitable location is selected, the relevant rainfall data is automatically imported for use in relation to the system design. The user can adjust certain parameters, such as time of entry, and duration, and a user-selectable design return period is provided in relation to design, surcharge, and storage. Stormscape allows the return period for each parameter to be increased by a user-defined percentage to reflect future climate change. Once all of the relevant rainfall data has been obtained and verified, this lower window can be closed to allow enlargement of the drawing window. The user can then select the regulatory rules that will govern the design and check that the default settings, such as minimum velocity and minimum cover, are acceptable. The options presented include Building Regulations Part H, BS752, and Sewers for Adoption. In this case, 
Sewers for Adoption has been selected. The user has an array of drawing tools available via icons located along the lower section of the design window. And they comprise Select Tool, Add Inflow, Add Manhole, Add Pipe, Add Public Sewer Network Outflow, Add Soakaway, Add Outfall Apron, Add Channel Drain, Add Channel Drain End. Add Pond Contour and Add Swale. To the right of the drawing tools, the user can identify the X and Y coordinates on the drawing and select the appropriate level of zoom. The first step in the design sequence is to add the manholes to the relative positions on the drawing. As each manhole is positioned, the manhole creation box appears and the information relating to that manhole is added, including cover level, soffit level in the case of stormwater design, and if the user wishes, the downstream gradient. Stormscape allows the position of each manhole to be adjusted, either graphically, or by the user adjusting the X and Y coordinates within the data schedule panel. Once the appropriate levels have been entered, the user can then select the type of manhole to be installed and the size. Stormscape has an inbuilt and comprehensive materials database, and the user therefore has the option to select a particular manufacturer or to use a generic option within the design. In this example, a generic type manhole has been used and typically sized to accord with the requirements of sewers for adoption, together with the particular design function of the manhole. This process is repeated until all of the manholes are positioned and the associated data is captured. The system also requires a point of outfall, in this case to the public sewer in the main road. The level of the outfall is added, together with a flow restriction to the public sewer, if applicable. Once the manholes are in place, the user can then add connecting pipes by selecting the appropriate drawing tool and then simply clicking and dragging each pipe between the respective manholes. After the pipes have been added, a length of channel drain is added to the front section of a small building to intercept the water arising from the adjoining parking area. This channel drain is connected directly into a receiving manhole on the stormwater system. As with manholes, and as the design proceeds, it is necessary to add the data relating to each pipe and each channel drain in the system. This is undertaken within the panel on the right-hand side of the design window and is subdivided into pipe data and properties. Again, the user can select a manufacturer from the Stormscape database, or, as in this case, select a generic example for each pipe. The Properties section includes KS, Pipe Roughness Coefficient, Length, Gradient, and Impermeable Area assigned to the pipe. 